Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to your struggle as part of your story. Celebrate, Celebrate every, every victory. victory. <laughs> Yay! There's the victory. That is a victorious <laughs> thing right now because I have so many things and so does Mandy. We oh, yeah. So many things going on all the, the time. time. Yes. It's a lot going on, y'all. Yep. Yep. And I mean, that being said, I actually have to go to work in a few minutes just for a short time. But I like I literally have to go to work in like an hour. So it's not, we're not going to be, you know, mincing our words. We're just going to go on. Oh, yeah. Then there's some good content today. Yeah. God has a reason yeah. that we are doing this devotional. What This is what, the third week now, the mm -hmm. first week we didn't even get to it. Yeah. But it led to it. Yeah. Uh, the actual yeah. devotional. And then last week last was week totally week. in line with what yeah. our life was going. And, and so was this one. Like, yeah. You wait in here. Yeah. We're going to get into it right away. But we just want to welcome everybody to this live stream. So if you're catching us live or on the replay or on YouTube, hi! hi. We're so glad to have you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pray and then I'm going to, we're just going to get started because we got to do what you, we got to do. Yep, so. yep, yep. I, sorry, I, I took a look at myself because <laughs> Maddie has all kinds of fun things that she set up for us. Yeah, and see, we got a super now. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's it's kind of an exciting thing. It's I have slightly to say, distracting though, it isn't it? Is it's an ADOS in the techie yeah, world. Yeah, because I'm like, way. and then, ooh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, I, I don't mean to be... <laughs> adorable oh this is adorable I, I blew her mind just before oh, so you guys have no idea the stuff that mandy is so smart you just don't even know it <laughs> you're adorable thank like, you i'll take it as a compliment I mean, you see her intelligence as we've been going along here but then there's the techie side that comes in and i'm just like what? we can do that <laughs> yeah yeah it's just a matter of eating it to you slowly because yeah. I started my techie walk, guys, when I was probably, let's see, I was in grade five when they gave me a chance to run sound. Mm -hmm. And it was for um, the Technicolor coat. My sister was in it. There you go. And I ran the sound, and it was so funny. There was a point that I had to go up and put a mic up on the stage. Well, the first time, just like a techie always does. And you guys don't get to see it because most of the time I do okay. But mm -hmm. I wiped out, guys. Excellent. And so I was the comedy of the show. To put that up, to go down, roll the music for the next scene while mm -hmm. people loved it. And so they actually asked me to do it. We did the show three nights in a row, of which all three nights, guys, I comically wiped out. The first time was by accident. Mm -hmm. And then all my graduations, every place I've graduated in my life, I have wiped out on the way up to the stage. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, now you know Mandy has... <laughs> like a fear issue with regards to that that's a that's like a lot of us have that a lot of us don't have put things. me in high heels you better get me training wheels oh man <laughs> uh, that just made me think of i wish that we had the way to just throw that <laughs> runway model that i put up for you one time if you ever have watched our youtube videos and you've seen my editing there's one where Mandy's like, don't put me in a dress or high heels. And I show this runway model walking and falling. <laughs> and really, yeah, that place. would be me totally. <laughs> Anyways, we're just kind of going on. And on. Yeah, yeah, well, it's always good to have a little laugh, guys. Yeah. It gets you through the moment. It's true. If you can find some of the hardest times in my life, I've had to laugh. Yeah. And actually, as we before we go into everything, one of the biggest things that we need to recognize is how our body physically reacts mm -hmm. remember when we we're in class and somebody farted everybody laughed mm -hmm. but some of them didn't well that's an actual psychosomatic reaction mm -hmm. your body it, you know if you're not comfortable with the situation some people display it in laughing mm -hmm. um you know when people are going through grieving mm -hmm. you often see hysterical laughing yeah 
And that is going through the stages of grieving. It could be in any spot of stage grieving. Yeah, it's a true story. It's your how you react. Everybody reacts differently to things. Mm -hmm. So anyway, keep that in your thought process as we go through today because Matthew's got some good stuff to share after I've read this devotional and stuff. But before we do that, Mandy and I are not doctors. No. Nor are we counselors. We're just a couple of regular Joes just trying to bring you awesomeness mm -hmm. so that you know that you are not alone. You are loved. You are so important to us. So that's why we do this this uh, Facebook Live. Um, well, it's on Twitter. It's on Facebook. It's on YouTube. It's yep. on all over the place. That's why we do it. Mm -hmm. So that you guys know how important you are. Even on our hard days, we come to you pretty raw. Yep. I'm Absolutely. smiling. But I'm pretty raw. Yeah, she's pretty raw. I'm pretty raw. I'm pretty wore out. We're, we're just... We're just pushing through because we know how important you guys are and mm -hmm. you need it just as much as we need it. Yep. So imagine those times in yourself where you're like, oh, I just need to be able to just be part of something. This is the same thing for Mandy and I, mm -hmm. that we just need to be able to love on you yeah. guys because that's what brings our hearts joy. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It's just one of those things. It's so, just one of those things. Yeah. So I'm going to pray and then I'm going to read this devotional. You go for it. So Lord, we just want to say thank you for what you're going to do through us and in us today. Yes, and Lord. we just worship you, Lord God. Yes. And we thank you for everything that you have for us. I pray that you would open our ears and our eyes, all of those things to hear and to see what you have for us in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Amen. Okay. So now the big thing is, is I got to be quiet and let Pastor Gigi read this yeah. because I will cut back and forth. I'll let you see a close up, but in the background, really, I'm wiggling. I have so much to say that's based on what I'm walking right now. Yeah. Right into this. And yeah. I would love to share it with you. Yeah. And just so you know, this is how God works because I said to Mandy when she was sharing the past few days for her, I said to her, well, do you want to just share that? Because I bet you there's people out there that could really no. use this, just that. And we don't have to do any of the other mm -hmm. stuff. Nope. And she goes, well, I didn't get a chance to even read what we have today. What is it? And so I read it to her and she was like, oh my goodness, we have to do this with, with it. it. So that's what we're going to do. Yep, yep. And Mandy's just going to... Yeah. So we'll just sit here. And then after I've read this, I'm going to bis pat this... I'm just going to pass it over to Mandy. and she's Word gonna... it. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one, too. Word it. Yeah. Word it. Wow. 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 Okay. Right. <laughs> Here we you go. You better roll. Here we go. Okay, so what I'm reading to you guys today doesn't have an actual title, but it has a lot to do with trust, okay? So regardless of where you're looking at things, and that's in our trigger warning. So if you if you deal with issues of trust, know that this is going to help you through this devotional well as well as what mandy is going to share with you guys wait it oh it's so good i just i'm so excited okay so here we go it's been widely noted that we cannot give away what we don't already possess nowhere is this maxim truer than in the concept of love self love is critical for love of others People who cannot see and respect what is good and lovely in their own selves will have trouble seeing and loving what is lovable in others. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is also why knowing God is so difficult if we don't know ourselves. Scripture may tell us we are divinely made, but if we've never experienced the beauty of this divine design within us, it will be difficult, if not impossible, to love others as Jesus commands. Kind of an interesting point made there. I know, she's just keeping her mouth zipped. It's hard, I know. So much of Christian faith calls for our lives to be guided by the love Jesus exemplified on the cross, a self-sacrificial love. And now here I'm going to read a scripture for you guys from John 15, 13, and it says, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down his life for, for one's friends. That is specifically talking about Jesus and how he laid his life down for us. 
in many respects, this is what makes Christianity so uniquely powerful. It is a religion firmly rooted in its insistence that giving away oneself for the sake of others is the best way to live, the way that will bring everlasting peace and satisfaction in life. I believe this is true, the writer writes, okay? I also believe that this cannot be done unless self-love is firmly established. Keep this in your heart, guys. This is important. One committed to taking care of our own mental health as part of our pursuit to love others well. It's interesting. Okay. Notice something else often overlooked in the command of Jesus. We are not called to love our neighbors more than ourselves, but to love our neighbors as ourselves. So you got that? Not more than ourselves, but as ourselves. So now here comes the crux of the whole thing, okay? Hardly a good commandment for those who happen to hate themselves or are indifferent to themselves. The command at that point sort of loses its teeth, doesn't it? Think about that. It does, because if you hate yourself and you're called to love other people mm -hmm. like you love yourself, how do you love somebody if you hate yourself? It's a tough one. It follows then that we must first love and care for ourselves well if we are to offer our love in a helpful manner to others. Okay? So self-care. Mandy talks about this all the time and how important it is for self-care, self-love, self-evaluating, looking at things, noticing things, stuff like that. She talks about it all the time. She's got even more weight. But think about that. It's hard to love somebody else if you don't love yourself. So that's why self-care is so important. Mm -hmm. Now I'm at the very end of this. At the core of this is having a solid understanding of identity. Think about that, okay? That's where we must start on the road to Christian self-care. If we're going to be healthy, then we have to know who we are. Like, Hello. kaboom! Like, mic drop in my world. Yeah. yeah, if we had that little graphic on there, I'd be like mic drop because it's so true what yeah. is your identity well guys it's a good one there are some big things going on here mm -hmm. like huge things mm -hmm. um the synopsis of my week very short anyway before i go there i have to talk about my hat <laughs> you see this hat when i was first a christian Probably would have been my third or fourth year I lived in the women's house mm -hmm. with Eastside Victory. And I was blessed with the, the chance to go to the Lake Louise Women's Conference. Now, Lake Louise is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I've grown up my whole life. I've seen the outside. I've went and seen the ice sculptures. I've walked around the lake all the way up mm -hmm. to the actual and water. This is Chateau like, Lake Louise. Chateau, like CN. Old school hotel, yeah. gorgeous. Okay, like I don't even know how much a, a night. Probably 250 Canadian easily. That's right? if you just get a single bed with nothing else. A queen size bed is 300 and something. So if you want to go with somebody, okay? So there was four of us in this place. Four of us women shared one bedroom, mm -hmm. two per bed. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, we go into Banff before we head off to Lake Louise. And for those that need to know, Lake Louise is about what, 30 minutes up the road? Oh, well. Probably. And in the yeah. wintertime is when the ladies' conference yeah. always yeah. is. Or so it's was. gorgeous. <laughs> and so we stopped in Banff to do lunch. And we stopped past this hat store. Well, I'm a huge hat person. I'm kind of changing now. I'm more girlified. But I was challenged by a lady who I love dearly. And we still, she doesn't live in Calgary area. But I get to see her. And this hat, I was challenged to buy it and wear it the whole conference. Mm -hmm. Well, that conference was what? Friday, Saturday, and then we headed home Sunday. Yeah. I had this hat, guys, on the whole time. Mm -hmm. There was a gala for Jesus. That's what it was like. Mm -hmm. It was called Gala for Jesus, where you would go and really dress up. Mm -hmm. Well, out of respect for the event, I did not wear the hat. 
But as soon as they let us go to have a break, where did Manny go? To Put get her back. hat. <laughs> so in in short, this is this is my God based mountaineering hat. And it's very Christmas. Actually, in Calgary and area, this is a very, very legitimately warm hat. Mm. I'm sweating under here now. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's go on loving ourselves. There is something about loving ourselves mm -hmm. that we forget. Mm -hmm. I didn't love myself, guys. But I always wanted to help people all the time. All the time. And I couldn't understand why I never had the endurance for it. And then I had my mental health breakdown. Mm -hmm. And I realized, oh, well, it's actually because I don't like myself. I forget to attend to myself. I go and extend myself in the directions. So over the years, I've really worked on learning to love myself. Mm -hmm. It's something that I've always worked on and I haven't always been able to get there. And there are days where I don't necessarily not love myself, but I don't like myself. I actually don't say I don't love myself anymore. Mm -hmm. I just don't like myself. Um, this last week, well, the last couple of days, I've been helping a good brother out, trying to get his son out to a smaller city outside of Calgary to get to school. It's a great school for him. It's everything about him is it. it he's blooming. Well, it's ran Mandy ragged. Mm -hmm. So ragged that yesterday I had a meltdown. And that meltdown was, okay, I, I actually physically can't go. I was spending probably four to five hours driving. And with the roads and stuff, it, yeah. it gets tiring. And, yeah. you know, I didn't get a chance to have my personal time, which is my time to, like, let's be honest, guys. I sit down, I sit outside, I get my vitamin D, my vitamin D for the day. I play my video games. I pray to the Lord. I accept the fact that it's a new day and yesterday was just a different day. And that it's over and the moment's done. And, you know, it's been sitting in me this anxiety. Mm -hmm. And so when I popped yesterday, because I did, I popped. Mm -hmm. There was a point where I just, I couldn't control it. My anger went up. And instead of dissociating, which is something we all know I've shared that I used to do, mm -hmm. um, I broke down and I cried. Mm -hmm. Now I go in two directions. I either keep getting angry and I would dissociate or now I get angrier and angrier and angrier and angry and then I just you know I keep but she going feels it but I feel it and I'm here the whole time mm -hmm. um but the second I cry that is what brings the control back for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was because I was extending myself and forgetting to give myself that time yeah and the thing is is I only get one or two days a week where I get to stop. Generally, Monday, I get to stop in the day before the devotionals. Mm -hmm. And then on Fridays, I get to stop. Generally, I am with my nephew, with my sister. I'm doing church, everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm always busy. But I always find some time for my personal self. Yeah. And so for the last two days, I've been praying, you know, Lord, help my brother fix his truck because I'm getting tired. Mm -hmm. I want to be tough and I want to help him. I'm so happy his son loves school mm -hmm. because it used to be he did it. Now he does. Mm -hmm. He's eager to get into the car and go. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's amazing to see a young person go in a good direction. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, my body was wearing mm -hmm. and wearing and wearing to the point that I, I had to have a number of people go, I just stop. Pastor Gigi was sending her love. Because I, literally where I was getting my personal time, I had to go pick up Nathan. And then uh, on the way, I'm like, okay, well, we got to go to out of town to get yeah. the young man. And at this time, I need to stop. Mm -hmm. And that's when I melted down because I just, mm -hmm. I couldn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because my body psychosomatically, and that's what this is all about, is mm -hmm. my body psychosomatically goes there. I know I can use my skills. When I have a moment, I'm talking myself through it, guys. Yes. I'm telling myself, Manny, you got to breathe. Manny, you got to accept that today is not a rage day on the road. You can't be getting upset with everybody going slow. Come on. You don't want to bump into it. Come well, on. the second I started telling myself those things, I was able to break it. And then this morning, my good brother sent a text message just as I dropped my Nathan off at work saying that his truck started. 
Hallelujah. And I said, really? Does that mean you're driving your son to school? And he said, yep. And I said, praise God. And my heart went back to loving myself. I love myself. Mm -hmm. I was hard on myself. The enemy feeds me lies. He likes to do that, doesn't he? And that's he? the difference. Mm -hmm. How do I know that I am not at full-blown mental all the time? Mm -hmm. Because I didn't have to do that little section mm -hmm. that I did mm -hmm. yesterday for the, I don't know, it turned out to be about 45 minutes beginning to end, right? Mm -hmm. I it, That used to be days, guys. Mm -hmm. I, my biggest thing is you always have to take that step back, yeah. observe, mm -hmm. describe, mm -hmm. and I want you to physically out your mouth describe because mm -hmm. by pushing it into the air, the enemy loses the control of it in your head. That's right. And then you step on it in Jesus' name. Yeah. It's a very important skill as a Christian who mm -hmm. walks my mental health. Mm -hmm. Everything that I label a lie mm -hmm. or a trick by the enemy, mm -hmm. I go lie. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I'm able to go, okay, Lord, I know that you have something for me here. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The answer doesn't always go home, guys. Mm -hmm. Very often it's hurry up and wait. Yeah. And that's something about us techies we yeah. get a lot of is hurry yeah. up and wait. Yeah. You know what's really interesting about that, Mandy? And Mandy and I have barely even had a chance to discuss this, but with regards to that, she said something earlier that she's like, is it a lie or is it love? That's the way that she was mm -hmm. distinguishing things. Yep. And sometimes it's hard to tell, well, is it a lie or is it love? I, I, I'm so confused by these things. But that's something that you can always remember. If there's confusion with it, that's from the enemy because mm -hmm. God does not bring confusion. Ah, come on. The other thing is, is that the enemy can put thoughts into your head, but he cannot read your thoughts. That's why speaking it out like Mandy was talking about is so imperative because what you're doing is not allowing the lies that he's put into your mm -hmm. head to take root. You're speaking them out and saying, no, that's a lie. Even if mm -hmm. you have to do that and be like, well... I feel like this is happening, but that's a lie. Yeah. If you have to do that, then do it. Yep. And if it is, you got to call it it. Yeah. You just call it. it. It's so empowering over time, guys. Yeah. Because then you're not hating on yourself that's anymore. Right. You're you're labeling it. You're calling it that mm -hmm. lie. Sorry, I'm, I got a couple things up here. I'm trying to move you all around so I can see your faces. Well, actually, it's my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard to move. But the big thing is, is that... Every time you identify things, that's mm -hmm. why we always, I'm always working on the skills of, you know, observe, describe, breathe. Well, if you don't breathe, go ahead, try and observe and describe something. Exactly. When go you, ahead. All try. you can think about is my tongue is getting tingly. My eyes are getting, whatever. If you're holding or your you're breath because <laughs> you're not breathing, that's all you're thinking about. So it's hard to distinguish between a lie mm -hmm. and love or the lie and the truth or whatever it is that however you're looking at it to yeah. try and figure it out, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, it, it's deep stuff. And, and, you know, don't be hard on yourself. Yeah. Again, I am here, and this is why I love to share with you guys. Mm -hmm. I want to say it mm -hmm. takes a long time. Mm -hmm. Be it gentle does. to yourself. Yeah. Understand that there are going to be days, because I still have them, guys, and I'm healed 100%. I know I'm healed. Mm -hmm. I can function. I can do things. But there are certain things in my life that I can't do too many days of, mm -hmm. like waking up very early in the morning mm -hmm. and standing at attention. That's what I call it. Yeah. Is being at attention and adulting from the second I wake up. Mm -hmm. I don't get that personal mm -hmm. time where I reflect with the Lord, sit out in the sun. Yeah, I'm playing my video games. Well, those video games give me the opportunity <clears throat> to just let things go. Yeah, that's right. And the, you, you need know? that sometimes. <coughs> you need the opportunity to just let it go. Mm -hmm. And so especially during this time of year when we're in the Christmas oh, yeah. season and we are <clears throat> saying Christmas because we believe that the reason for the season is yeah, Jesus geez. Christ. Amen. We have talked about this countless times that we understand that Jesus was most likely not born on December 25th, <laughs> but that's the day that we as Christians celebrate his birth. Mm-hmm. You know, he was probably born in the spring, but we're going to celebrate his birth 
in December because that's where everybody can come around together yeah. and celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And what is Jesus Christ's love for us? To me, that is the ultimate display of mm -hmm. self-love because yeah. he looked at you and he's like, yeah. I know that you don't feel strong enough to do this. So I'm going to do it for you so that you can focus on you. Mm -hmm. Like, tell me that that's not love. <coughs> Sorry guys. I got verbal. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to talk so that you have a chance to like, you know, swallow down the fur. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. Oh man. I'm almost there. Yeah. Anyways, you guys, we are almost done because unfortunately I have to leave for work soon. So I'm going to actually give Mandy the phone numbers. Yeah. She's going to share the phone numbers that we, you know, share with you guys. She's going to share actually, that. Actually, let me go to, oh, can you pop them up? I oh, have it she right has here. the, that part I have to work on over here, guys. But That's she's got it. Pastor G rocks. We are like the epic tech team. We I got, actually work I out love, pretty darn good yeah. together. I yeah, think. she is learning very quickly. It is very impressive. Are you going to be able to do that or is your... My schnauzer, is it dripping now? No, do you have um, lots of, uh, of oh, yeah, fur I'm in your throat? No, I'm actually past the fur now. <laughs> okay. So the big thing is, is when you're in a moment, guys, and you can't get through it, and it's a total emergency, 911. Nine Always one go to 911. Those yes. people are so good. Trust me, I know yeah. one. I know a couple, actually. Yeah. They're amazing people. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Their purpose is to get you through that moment and get you the help you need. Yeah. Don't have the thousand pounds in you. That's right. But... I don't like using, but there are other ways if you're not in a mm -hmm. full blown emergency to reach out and talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to get into now. Of course, for our young people, there's the kids help phone and it is 1-800-668-6868. Or you can text the word connect C O N N E C T to 6868 Did I get it? Three That's six right. eight six That's eight. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, my my numbers went away literally just when that happened. No. Um, good. The Calgary Distress Center is four zero three two six six four three five seven, or the last four digits on your telephone pad it equals help, mm -hmm. or it spells help actually. Yeah, it spells help. Equal yeah. as a number Whatever thing, you. but you know me yeah. flipping in the world is crazy. You should see me play bass after playing guitar. It's kind yeah. of funny. You know, forming chords, and now I get single notes. No, no, I just leave it for Nathan to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then there's also the mental health helpline. It is one eight seven seven three zero three two six four two. And if you're looking to talk in the national world, there's the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. It is one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. Of course, if you are just looking to to chat with Pastor Gigi and I, there are so many ways mm -hmm. to get a hold of us. Mm -hmm. I will give a couple, but the rest are in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Please yeah. Yeah, don't put me through on. this. <laughs> <laughs> the big thing is, is you can get a hold of Pastor Gigi and I personally on our messengers. Mm -hmm. You can get a hold of us in private message. Mm -hmm. You also can reach us here in the comments, mm -hmm. or you can go to the Living Waters Victory Church Facebook page or the website. Mm -hmm. Um, there are emails to get a hold of us there. There's mm -hmm. the LWVC information at gmail.com. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's off of my top of my brain. So that's telling you I am retaining stuff. Yeah. Big thing is, is if you're reaching us from the YouTube world or you're looking here from Facebook, there are our specific mental health check contact information. There's the Twitter, which is at the MHC underscore story mm -hmm. and then there's the instagram which is the at sign mhc your story mm -hmm. and then of course if you want to email us to our mental health check you can and that is uh mhc your story at gmail.com wow i'll tell you this girl <laughs> she's got it so those of you that are catching us on youtube you will see in our comment, or sorry, our notes area, you will see that we have all of these numbers listed yes. for you. Those of you on Facebook, you will see it in our comments. They're all listed for you. So there's no reason for you not to be able no. to contact somebody. Mm -hmm. But also, if you're reaching us through YouTube, I also have put a link in our actual uh, notes area of this video 
that has a link to our church's Facebook, our, sorry, our church's YouTube channel. So yes. you could check out the messages, the Sunday messages, whatever it is. Yes. We will eventually be putting um, a few more things on our actually church yes. uh, YouTube channel. It hasn't come to that point yeah. yet. We have a lot of things going on. And this channel, this YouTube channel, this Facebook, whatever we're doing here with the mental health yes. has exploded. Yes. You guys obviously need to know that you are loved. Absolutely. And we are more than happy to be there, to stand with you, to show you that you are loved. And no you're not what. alone. That's right. God's and, there with you. Yeah. And in the physical, we'd love to be there with you. Yeah, that's right. So... We more than welcome your comments in the comment mm -hmm. section of this video. Feel free to put it on our Facebook, on Twitter, on our Instagram, on, on this YouTube channel, yes. whatever. However you want to do it, you can email us like Mandy said. But feel free to comment your thoughts on things because we would love, we oh, love reading your we comments. We love reading your comments and, you know, we might not get to them right away, but I do go back, guys. I always go back and I try, especially yeah, if there too. are questions. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, if for some reason we're not getting to you and you have some, please tag us, yeah. our names within yeah. the comment because yeah. that with the Facebook world, as you know, will actually go, oh, hello, Mandy, want, somebody wants to talk to you, Mandy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So that will make a difference. Yes. So in that, mm -hmm. I'm going to say that I love you guys yes. and we're so glad to have you guys. I'm going to let Mandy pray us out and then yeah, we're yeah. going to say our little bitty. Yeah, little bitty. <laughs> Lord, mm -hmm. I lift up this Hallelujah. session. Yes. Lord. I love uh, lift up this live stream. Mm -hmm. I lift up this time to you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You know the things that I'm trying to explain mm -hmm. and share with everybody. Mm -hmm. The ultimate thing is, is that we are going to make it through it. We are. If we just turn to you, mm -hmm. whatever those skills are that we need, you know, just drop them into yeah. them. Come on. Allow all of us to Come take on. that breath, to allow us to have that oxygen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to step back, mm -hmm. observe, Lord, and then describe. Because yeah. if it is not of you, Lord... Without a shadow of a doubt, if it isn't of love, Lord, we know it's the enemy. Yeah, come and on. And therefore, we're going to just stomp on that mm -hmm. for anybody in this mm -hmm. moment. Anything that's attacking them, Lord, that, that, that enemy has no strength, has no right mm -hmm. to be here. And oh, in Jesus' yeah. name, on. I say, get out of here. Come on. Just come get on. out of here. Come on. And yeah. Be persnickety about it, guys, because you know what? He's talking to you like that anyway. All those lies are really hurtful. It's true. And it makes it so that we can't love ourselves. Mm -hmm. Lord, just step in between that stuff mm -hmm. all the way. Like, don't let us go there. Mm -hmm. Please allow us to put that at the cross and leave it Hallelujah. there so that your love is yes, always Lord. filling us from yes, the front, Lord. from the Lord, back, Lord. from the sides. Mm -hmm. Lord, thank you for this time. You, and oh, Lord, I'm so excited that mm -hmm. Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. Christmas is coming. Yes, Lord. And it isn't about the presents this year, Lord. I know it isn't. Mm -hmm. Because this is my favorite time of year. I got to learn your love. And mm -hmm. it's because of Christmas, Lord. Mm -hmm. Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what it was for real. Mm -hmm. So let it be touched on people. Let them get through the moment. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. Glory In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You guys are so awesome. Yeah, we yeah. love you all so, so much. And that is why we do what we do because mm -hmm. of you guys. You guys are what are important mm -hmm. to us. So we love you. God bless you all. And as you progress through this week, it is time to, are you ready? Yep. Live, Live it, it, love it, and, and be it. it. Bye for now.